All right, so first thing first, I want to talk about what's the problem we're trying to solve. So the biggest problem here is that let's say if you're a front-end engineer and you're trying to use Clocko here to build front-end applications, and the biggest problem here is that Clocko is not able to open the browser and be able to navigate to the application and verify those changes that's being made. And of course, we all know that Clocko is able to look at the console logs, be able to look at the code base to verify those changes, but that's not enough, right? because we need Clocko here to be able to see the change that's being made. And whenever we provide a plan for Clocko to execute, Clocko is able to code that feature, but they have no idea that the feature that they have implemented is accurate based on the requirements that we set. And that is really where the solution comes in, which is using a MTP server called Playwright, which can simply give Clocko here the vision access to navigate to the application itself. And it should be able to navigate to different pages, be able to perform some browser actions like clicking, be able to scroll down or be able to enter the form and be able to verify those changes that's being made. And that's really important because without this tool, Clocko here just blindly implementing the features based on the logs and the code base. And that's not what we want in our front-end development. We want the front-end development here to have Clocko here to view the application and verify those changes whenever it implements the features. Now you know the why, but let's take a look at how it fits into our development workflow. So usually what we have is we start with the spec driven development where we have our spec or plan for the features on how we're going to implement this. Then we're going to pass the plan to Clocko to execute the plan. So it's going to take the plan that we have and start to code the features that we have. After we code the features for our front-end developments, it's going to use a tool check called Playwright. And Clocko here is going to use Playwright tool to check the features that's implemented. For example, it's able to take screenshots, navigate to different parts of the page, set to different screen sizes, and it's also able to look at the browser console logs and also the network logs to verify those changes. So then after it verifies those changes, Clocko then basically think about it and start to look at what are the things that needs to change, create a plan, and be able to loop through this workflow continuously to improve our front-end application. All right, so now you know the why and also how it fits into our workflow. Let's take a look at how we can be able to use this inside of our front-end development. Before I get into this, if you do find value in this video, please make sure to like this video, consider subscribe for more content like this. But with that being said, let's continue the video. So here you can see I navigate to Playwright MCP GitHub page. And if you were to scroll down, it tells you exactly how you can configure this and add it onto your MCP servers. So if you're using Clocko like myself, you can simply just copy this command here and be able to install this. So in that case, inside of my terminal, I can simply just run this command here and it will install Playwright onto my MCP server. Now here inside of a new terminal, here I'm just going to run clock code again. And let's say if I were to do MCP servers, here you can see we have our playwrights which connected here. And here if I were to enter to view more details, and here inside of this, you can see that it has total of 21 tools. So we can actually be able to click on view tools here. And you can see that these are all the tools that I can use. For example, I can close the browser, resize the browser, get the console messages, right? And be able to upload files, be able to press any keys, enter any text, and be able to navigate to websites and so much more, right? So we'll be able to take screenshots, click things, any browser action you can think of, it has those tools here. All right, so now what I wanna talk about is how we can be able to integrate our Playwright into our Claw Code development workflows. So right now you can see that currently I'm inside of the Claw.md file, and these are some changes that I have made. So I basically add a section called the visual development and testing. So whenever we implementing something, any changes on the front end side of things, it's gonna do this quick visual check. Now, before I dive into this, I also wanted to mention that this is the design system, the design principles that we follow whenever it's going to do any developments. And you can be able to view this inside of the context. So there is a design principles, which is created. You can see that these are the design principle for the strategies on how it's going to create a better UI user interface for the front end applications, right? So things like the border, the spacing, uh, layouts, the visuals. So these are the design principles that we set and pretty much it's going to follow this principle here to develop the application. And then here for the quick visual check, you can see here that first is going to identify what changes and also try to navigate to the affected pages using the MCP server for playwright to visit each change view and also be able to compare against design principle that we follow also validate the feature implementations, check the acceptance criteria to making sure that we're meeting the requirements and also capture the evidence for the screenshots of each change and also be able to check for any errors. So these are basically the steps that I have clock code to follow whenever we try to make any front end changes. And below this, I also have add a section for the comprehensive design reviews. So after we have made those changes, whenever we try to merge the pull request, for example, it's also going to trigger this design review agent called the agent design review. So here inside of the claw code here, I have uh, added a new agent called design review agents, which currently you can see this is basically the descriptions. And what's happening here is that we're using sub agent here to trigger this review process to test all the interactive states 
verify the responsiveness, check accessibilities, right? Test the edge cases, everything. And then here you can see, we also have mentioned about the essential commands for UI testing. So things like how we can be able to navigate to different pages, how we can be able to take screenshots, set the browser size, for example, the width and height to test the responsiveness of the application. And also how we can be able to interact with test things like clicking, be able to input things, be able to hover any states, and also how we can be able to validate the data, for example, like checking for errors for the console or look at the accessibilities and take a look at the elements in the page, ensure that it's actually loaded. So these are some common uh, commands that we can use in Playwrights, which I have mentioned here. And then also the compliance checklist. So these are the list of things that is gonna follow to making sure that it's compliant with the standard that we set here. Like the mobile size is gonna be 375 pixels, tablet is 768, and desktop is this much, right? So we check for these things and also the loading time and so much more. And the next section that I also added is when to use this automated visual testing. So here you can see, this is when we're gonna use the quick visual check. And this is when we're gonna use the comprehensive design reviews right? For example, like a major feature implementations or whenever we do like a refactoring components, we will use the review agent here to check that and when to skip the visual testings. So for example, whenever we implementing the backend features or documentation updates, we don't have to do the visual testing, right? So that's something that we want to mention to clock code that it's not like every time when we send a request, clock code is going to do the visual testing, right? So that's pretty much the sections that I have added in clockcode.md file to making sure that clock code here is able to use playwrights whenever we try to do our front end development here. Okay. All right. So pretty much once we had the setup, now it's pretty much a go time. So here inside of our application, which is what it looks like here, you can see after a user logged in, this is what the application look like. So we can simply like the user, be able to dislike the user. We can be able to uh, search for different age range, right? We can be able to send a message to uh, different users here. So what I can do is I can be able to use the design review agent, which you know, uses the MTV server for playwrights to demo this for testing. So in that case, to test this, I basically first reference the agent, which is to using the design review agent right here. And here I basically mentioned to navigate the application and test the login feature with the login as this person with the password password to test the members page. So let's say if I would run this and let's try to see what it does here. All right, so now you can see that it starts, it opens the application in a new browser here. And first thing first, you can see it start to take a screenshot, save it inside of this folder. And here you can see it decides where the login button is, and then it's clicking that login button here automatically. So now you can see it start to autofill the password, the emails, and log into the application, navigate to the members page. And here you can see it start to resize the browser window to check for responsiveness of the application. All right, so now you can see eventually it's fully tested for login flow, for the members page, responsive design, and also the visual consistency. So here you can see it also lists out the areas to improve, like the loading stays, the performance could be optimized using the lazy loading for the images and also the accessibilities. So pretty much you can see that we can use Claude here to use the Playwright MCP server to navigate to our application, be able to do the visual testings based on our application. Now, of course, we can also be able to view the changes or the photos that is being captured every single steps. So for example, on the home page, this is what it looks like. And on the login page, this is what it looks like. After the form is validated with a email, you can see that this is what it looks like. And if they put an invalid email, this is what the air looks like. So it is able to capture each step for the workflow on how it's able to test the application. So things like filter for only females only, look for all the users. Here you can see this is the responsive view for the mobile size, and also this is the tablet size. So you can see that there's some responsive problems that we need to fix. So in that case, let's have Claw Code to fix that issue. And like what we just mentioned here, instead of our cloud.md file, is that every time when clock code make any changes, clock code should automatically be able to verify that change using the playwrights. So in that case, I'm just going to reference that file. It should be inside of this. There is a mobile view, so I'm just gonna reference this and say that please fix this responsive design issue. And hopefully after you fix it, it should be able to run the MCP server to verify that change. So here you can see it's gonna analyze the responsive design issue and fixing it. Then it started to target which component and where exactly in the application causing the issue, which is the member sidebar, which is showing here. And if we were to look at the image, you can see that the sidebar here basically collapsed into one cluster. So now you can see that it started to generate a to-do list on what are the things that needs to fix. So here's gonna fix the response to the design. And here you can see after it fix, it opens the application using the MCB server here 
uh, resize the screen here and try to verify the change. So here you can see it's calling the Playwright MCP server here to navigate to these pages and be able to change the screen size. And here you can see the mobile response design is, is much more better, right? So here you can see it's gonna run the NPM run build to see if there's any TypeScript errors based on the fix that's made and also try to click on different buttons on the sidebar to see if everything's fully functional. So here you can see this is the application which currently everything is working correctly. So basically you can see this is the first row, this is the second row and this is the third row which organized into different rows for the sidebar which we can also see the image here as well. All right, so lastly, I also wanna make sure to commit those changes here and simply I'm just gonna commit this and making sure that you can be able to see the changes that I made for this video. Now, speaking of keeping track of the progress, the other part that we wanna keep track is the memory that we interact with for a large language model. And that's where the sponsor of this video comes in, by Rover. They have built a central memory layer for modern dev teams using coding agents. Now, chances are you have been in this situation. You're coding with an AI IDE like Cursor or Clock Code, and you have spent all your time carefully describing your project context. But the next day, when you start a new session, all of the knowledge is gone. And you have to waste time explaining everything from scratch, or maybe you're working with your team, but all the valuable lessons from past interactions, the best practices, the bug fixes are all siloed. They aren't shared across the team, so your colleague's agents keeps making the same mistake over and over again. And you know that basic rule files like claw.md file just aren't enough for the massive code base. Or maybe you start in cursor, switch over to Gemini CLI or any other agents, and none of that context carry over. But by over here solves all that. What if your AI agents can actually remember all that context permanently? With by over, your project knowledge is saved. Everything from high-level programming concepts to specific business logics, past interactions, bug fixes, even the model's own reasoning steps. This gives your agents maximum context, enabling smarter, more accurate code as your project grows. You can think of it as a unified memory layer shared across all your favorite coding IDEs like Cursor, Claw Code, VS Code, and more. So it scales right alongside your code base. For all my fellow open source fans, Byrover just launched Cypher, an open source memory layer that you can plug directly into your IDE with zero configuration. Both of these tools are designed to make your coding agents more intelligent and genuinely useful. It's completely free to get started, so to check out the link in the description to try it out. So pretty much you can see that what I just demoed is that whenever we try to implement a feature, Cloud Code is automatically using Playwright here to verify that change. And I have also show you how you can be able to use the sub agent here, which uses the Playwright to verify the changes inside of your application. All right, so pretty much that's it for this video. Hopefully you found value in this video. Pretty much in this video, we cover why we should use Playwright here to, to improve our front end developments and also how it works and how to use this Playwright integrated into our workflow developments. So if you found value in this video, please make sure to like this video, consider subscribing for more content like this. But with that being said, I will see you in the next video.